You know that uh, I'm gonna make a video about something when the answer to the most logical explanation is the stork is involved. That's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda, you're watching Small Entertainment, and here is another video in the same vein as my Dinosaurs on the Moon video, where I learned something scientific and, or even just science adjacent, and I decided that it was gonna become my personality for a week. Today we are talking, really? You're gonna fall down now, right as I'm getting started? That's just rude. Anyway, it's spooky season, and I try to be creative. I try to have, also it's stuck to glass. Why are you falling down? It's gonna be interesting to see how my autofocus does with that in the background. But before I start screeching about eels, let me first thank the sponsor for this video, Me Undies. Me Undies makes soft and soft basics for everybody. Me, you, your mom, your girlfriend. In fact, you know what? Make sure your girlfriend is watching this. Me Undies wants to celebrate your true authentic self because when you feel good with what you're wearing underneath, you just feel good all around. Now here's my super serious model-esque montage of me trying on the items that me undies sent my way. First up, we have this peach and black set featuring a heart and the line from where my jeans was cutting into my stomach. Next, we have this mix match set they sent me of a bralette that's like a burgundy bralette and some black boy shorts featuring Hermes. They also sent me one of their tank tops and honestly, this thing is so soft, your mom would call it girlfriend material. And this is the beach bird set, but personally, I like to call this the bird's aren't real set. And if your girlfriend would like me to explain birds aren't real to her, I would love to take her to dinner. The Andy's also sent me some crew socks and some wonderful white ankle socks. They also sent me a onesie made of the same comfortable material of all of their undies. It's got a hood. Best of all, it has pockets. Boom, 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 boom. Whether you like to mix or match, or you like thongs or boy shorts, I'm sure you can find whatever your bottom needs at MeUndies. When you sign up for their membership program, you get fresh undies delivered to your door every month and a variety of fun prints, and you get up to 30% off the entire site. And the US gets free shipping and returns. Go ahead and click the link in my description box to get started with MeUndies today for 15% off your first order. Thank you again to MeUndies for sponsoring this video. So whereas with Dinosaurs on the Moon, I was made aware of the possible theory and all of that from my friend who's like an actual chemist and like works as a chemist. I learned about this one from where I learn about most things these days, TikTok. TikTok is just weaseling its way into every facet of my life, which I mean, I'm not mad about because it gives me content ideas like this one. And then I can literally talk about it in a video and somehow you guys like that. I don't understand it 90% of the time, but I do know that it keeps my lights on and I appreciate that. On August 14th, a TikTok user by the name Cole the Science Dude Nice name. Made a video captioned, we don't know where eels come from. With some spooky music, horror suspense music tagged in the background that I'm 90% certain will get me a copyright claim. So I'm gonna play a clip of this video and then probably just reiterate it to you in case I get a copyright claim and need to take it out later. Of all of the mysteries that have tortured scientists for centuries, the one that is by far the most bizarre to me is that to this day, we still don't know where eels come from or more accurately, how eels make there be more eels. You heard me correctly, we have been to the moon and yet we still do not know how eels sexually reproduce. And even weirder than that, what little we know about the reproductive cycle involves the Bermuda Triangle and I couldn't even make that up. The main takeaway from his video, or I guess you could say the thesis, is that we have been to the moon, but we do not know how eels reproduce, okay? If you cut open an eel, you will not find reproductive organs inside said eels. And apparently what little we know about how eels reproduce is because of the Bermuda Triangle. That is the point that everyone's focusing on is the Bermuda Triangle because TikTok, obviously we have to make it more insane to get views because comment sections still fuel algorithms regardless of what platform you're on and people calling you an idiot is still gonna get you uh, views. Still there. I'm not calling him an idiot. I'm not calling the other people who uh, relating the Bermuda Triangle uh, theories that I'm gonna be talking about idiots. I'm just saying that that's the general uh, consensus of TikTok users is it's either like you are a goddess or it's go kill yourself. Like there's no in between. TikTok comment sections are flipping brutal. The reason I am obsessed with this particular lack of scientific knowledge is that it pisses me off. It really just does. Like who do eels think they are? okay, to keep this secret from us. I mean, can't you just make an OnlyFans account and just get it over with? You know, like just tell us 
how you reproduce. We've got snakes doing it in the middle of a road, okay? We know how snakes do it. They just like quiggle around on each other and do weird shit. We know how turtles do it. We know how a variety of the animal kingdom bones, but we don't know how eels do it. And they've been around for thousands millions of years. Rude, honestly. Personally, um, I just want eels to, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm sending a subpoena. I am sending a subpoena, okay, to some eels and they're just gonna have to tell me how they do it. I need to know. I don't like this not knowing. It bothers me. And I think what also bothers me about it is it's not like dinosaurs on the moon. Like we've never actually gone and searched, you know, to see quite literally looking for dinosaur fragments on the moon. There's just a very potential theory about that. There's logical, Logical. Theoretical basis and explanations of how the Big Bang, the Big Bang, I'm mixing. <laughs> I'm an English major. Hi. <laughs> you know what's funny is I I have my degree, my associate's degree in English. I'm just gonna frame it and like make a big deal about it in the background, you know? So it's just like, oh yeah, man, I went to dumbass university and <laughs> and got an English degree. Side note, I love how every time I mention my English degree, um, there's at least one person in the comment section who like butchers why I use slang or something like they take personal offense to that. But again, this is a whole video about how I'm personally offended that we don't know how eels reproduce. So I can't really talk this time around, but yeah, still, if I wanna use the word yeet to explain something, I fucking will. The thing that drives me nuts is that sure, there are people that have been to the moon and that's what the running theme is like, oh, we've sent people to the moon, but we don't know how eels reproduce. And it's like, okay, yes, sure. The whole dinosaur thing, yes, we've been to the moon, but it's, I don't wanna say minuscule swath of people that have been to the moon, but there's other shit they're looking for when they go to the moon, okay? They're not looking for dinosaur fragments on the moon. But that being said, we've like seen eels. We like know eels. We like have them in, do we have them in captivity? Do people own eels? That's another question. Okay, can you like have an eel? Is it legal to own exotic fish as pets in the US? That's not my question. Keeping eels at home is not for everybody, but I think we can all agree that it is. it can be spectacular to own one. 11 freshwater eels that can be kept as aquarium pets. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is telling me more information about the eel situation. Okay, but apparently, side note, my point is, is that you can own eels in captivity. Fish stores have eels. I'm assuming fish breeders have eels or have had eels at one point, but they cannot breed them. Like if you put two eels in a tank together, apparently they won't do the do. If you take eels and you put them together, even if you put on Marvin Gaye, they will not have sex with each other. Why does this bother me so much? Can someone, <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask my therapist about this. <laughs> hey, why does this irk me <laughs> so severely to the point that I have to make a rant video about it? Like I need to up my dose of whatever I'm on right now. Like. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, let me read the segment of this article about owning an eel in your aquarium in private ownership. True eels are raffin fish that belong to the, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, anguilliformis order, which is found under the bony vertebrates classification. This includes all the popular species, such as the moray eel, spaghetti eel, American eel, European eel, and others. European eel is the one that I see people talk about the most when they're talking about how we don't know how they reproduce and all that, because a lot of the tracking that's been done and the research that's been done has been done with my belief is European eels, or at least the information that we are that is being discussed the most is from research done on European eels. Okay, okay. The anguilliformis. I should just send back my English degree. <laughs> or I should get a refund for all the dyslexia tutoring I did. All spawn in the ocean where their parents have bred. Again, we think. However, the spawns will migrate to a body of fresh water. Okay, salt water to fresh water. The eels spend a portion of their life there in brackish to fresh water. This relocation is only temporary though. They remain marine in nature and need the salinity. Okay, so again, weird shit, fish switching to fresh water, salt water, stressing it out. However, it does seem like they can't just like move to fresh water and stay there. They do have to get salt water. Towards maturity, they will return to the ocean to reproduce. Salinity is required for a healthy true eel. Therefore, there are no true freshwater eels. Just some fake bitches. There are eel-like freshwater fish, however, they will behave and look like an eel, though they are not a real member of the family. Why is that sad? <laughs> Can't we like adopt? <laughs> Why am I about to cry? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, so I haven't been sleeping well, partially because of my insomnia and also partially because um, I have a demon baby 
land shark uh, as a dog. My emotions are just like all over the fucking place. If I didn't know better, I would think I was pregnant or something. Okay, so Ooh, give me a second, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting worked up over eels. I'm crying over eels and non-eel, but looking like eel fish. I'm calling my therapist after this, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but my point is because I did start doing some more research on other videos. Again, we know very little from what it seems like with the eels is that eels go through a variety of life cycles because apparently a bunch of the big names Aristotle, Freud, a variety of other people who probably were doing copious amounts of drugs. A lot of them were trying to figure out how eels reproduce because they don't have balls. That was the big thing, it seems like. They were looking for testes of some sort in these eels or just any form of reproductive organs whatsoever. So I watched a variety of videos and found a variety of articles. So here is one article that I found that um, is directly responding to Cole the Science Dude's uh, TikTok. So this is from Newsweek. It was just a fact check article, basically. The user relays facts about how little scientists know about the reproductive cycle of the eel species and Gila and Gila, also known as the European or freshwater eel. The lack of data that researchers have on freshwater eel reproduction is well documented. In a TED Talk article available online, zoologist Lucy Cook states that the life of the freshwater eel begins in the Bermuda Triangle, and they then make their way to continent waters. The last stage of their lives, Cook states, is mysterious because researchers have been unable to find their breeding grounds and still haven't observed mating in the wild or found a single eel egg. This was corroborated to Newsweek by Sebastian Nikitas Poltis, a researcher at the National Institute of Aquatic Resources in Denmark who led a study on the in breeding eels in captivity. However, Politis disputed some subtle statements made in the TikTok video and went on to say that eel reproduction has been observed in captivity. Oh, it has! He told Newsweek that the claim that no reproductive organs have been found in anguilla and gila eels is not correct and that they do exist in specimens in later stages in their life cycle. We definitely have seen eels that have reproductive organs. We are pr reproducing eels in captivity. We are treating them with hormones in order to actually sexually mature. And then once they are ready, then we can bring females and males together. And then we have observed their mating behavior. But it is also not that common as it could or should be. So basically, if you've ever read um, sex pollen fan fiction. <laughs> Oh God, I, I knew it was a mistake the moment I said it. It's like that. They're basically just pumping them full of hormones and then being like, okay, hey. So they're not putting on Marvin Gaye, but they're pumping them full of hormones and hoping that they can just like, like horny teenagers, like that's what they're trying to do with these eels, basically. He described how males and females come into close proximity to one another and release eggs and sperm. So they come into like, boom, and then they're like right here. So are they not touching? They just come in close proximity. Okay, close proximity. Does that like that or like that? Like I'm, I'm trying to, <laughs> I need diagrams or something. <laughs> Politis did confirm that scientists have never found oceanic spawning grounds for freshwater eels in the wild, nor have they found eggs or early hatchlings, nor have they found a mature specimen that is ready to go spawning. So they can kind of like force the growth cycle and the reproductive cycle in captivity rarely it does seem it's like it's just not that common it's, it's difficult to do or not difficult but it's not as common to do eels are picky okay eels are shallow even in the ocean eels are shallow so it's like eh, we can like give you a male and a female but it's like mm, not my not my one not my ride or die can we not track eels i mean i know they're smaller i'm assuming yes but i'm also wondering if no they're wiggly little shits so, I mean, you can't do like a hook thing around their neck without like causing damage. Could you tag the tail? Could you do it like a harness? Like harness on the eel? So it's mostly true according to Newsweek. Basically their whole thing is that though 90% of what is said in the video is true, the misconception is that there have been tracking and or uh, observing of reproduction in captivity and their sexual organs have been observed. Okay. So there's a variety of YouTube videos that I actually found about this topic. This one from Thoughty2 and a Ted Ed video that's animated. No one can figure out how eels have sex. Now the nobody knows how eels have sex. Uh, it gives me the funniest screenshot of all time. Um, I will insert it here about how eels spawn. Um, apparently some, there was one point in time where there was a theory that they spawn from beetles. 
I'm obsessed with the screen cap doodle from this uh, video from Ted Ed. They're looking at each other like, I won't say anything if you won't, like very, very fun. But basically there's like five main stages of the life cycle of eels. Basically the understanding is that the eels do not develop testes specifically specifically testes. I haven't seen anything like specifically break down like, oh, where do the female reproductive organs, because I'm assuming like eggs. Is this the same thing with the testes? But basically they don't develop balls until they need them. Fascinating. So let's talk about the Bermuda Triangle. So for those of you that don't know, which also, if you don't know what the Bermuda Triangle is, what were you obsessed with in the fifth grade? Like what was your obscure topic that you were like, this is everything I know about it. Was it the Titanic? Was it dinosaurs? Gotta pick one, okay. Or was it like aliens and or random disappearances? Because if it was that, then you probably had a subset of that that was the Bermuda Triangle. But the Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean where a number of aircraft and ships are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Most reputable sources dismiss the idea that there is any mystery. Basically the running theory I've heard is that like the currents are just so ridiculous in that area that that's why like things go down. And it's like, yeah, but like aliens, sea creatures, Cthulhu, like there's more fun theories for that, you know, than like currents. Give me the weird shit, okay? We're in a pandemic. People aren't wearing masks. They're not believing science. Let me just have something fucking weird. If anyone wants to like sponsor a, a voyage to the Bermuda Triangle for me, down. I'll bring some of my probably uh, dumb looking tracking devices for eels. We can hook some up. We can do a whole trip about it. Let me know. So for the most part, what I've heard from a variety of the videos, specifically the Ted Ed video, and then the do eels have sex video from Thoughty2, they mentioned both the Sargasso Sea, which from my understanding, looking at the maps is like kind of overlapping with the Bermuda Triangle. Like it's in that pocket of at least the top section of the Bermuda Triangle. But the Sargasso Sea also has like the violent currents, which are also known within the Bermuda Triangle, allegedly. Again, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I am a YouTuber. Let me pull up the video about the Bermuda Triangle because this is the one of the theories that what's his name did. So here is the uh, eels are humans theory. This is from a D H E D Hinsor, Hinosaur. Hinosaur. Okay, this is from like August 31st. Okay, so a little later than a lot of the other theories. Eels are humans. The other day I saw a viral TikToker where a man said, we don't know how eels reproduce. The one thing we do know about them is that they'll go from fresh water to salt water to the Bermuda Triangle. And then after that, they'll come out with more eels. Now, if you don't know what the Bermuda Triangle is, it's world renowned for being a place where people go in and then they disappear. They never come out. So by process of elimination, what goes into the Bermuda Triangle but doesn't come back out? Humans. What goes into the Bermuda Triangle and comes out with multiples of them? Eels. I'm pretty sure that eels are humans. Uh, yeah, come in. You've got this. They go from salt water to fresh water to the Bermuda Triangle. One, love that explanation because it sounds like they are literally just teleporting, obsessed. Anyway, we do know that they travel, okay? They swim and we don't know how long they stay in the larval stage in the Bermuda Triangle or when they make the, sh the trips back to their variety of other locations or whatever or how they do so other than like quiggling because they're eels. Interesting all around. There's also the belief that it could be a couple of months, that it could be three years that they stay in the larval stage. I like the tinfoil hat bit at the end, that's fun. But yeah, no, basically his theory is that the humans that go missing through the Bermuda Triangle um, then turn into eels, hence all of that. However, no, just because way more eels than there are disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, logically, yeah, because the more cases of the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle are older, like decades older, if not close to 100 years older now. Time is a black hole because of the pandemic. If, if I mix up like decades versus hundreds versus years, like time is a black hole. For the eels are actually humans that went missing in the Bermuda Triangle theory, I'm gonna call no. Just because even for a crackpot theory, the basis of it is just like very, very thin if not non-existent. One, how? Besides Ursula, you know, like Ursula's like, yeah, humans could just be my wiggly little friends. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I did that. 
like that theory, sure. Ursula is just out there being a bad bitch of a sea witch, you know? But also, how, however, there's just not enough of people going missing in the Bermuda Triangle to sustain the population of eels that are currently available on Earth, available, existing on Earth, even with their longer life cycles. Like they're, they're just not sustainable of a business model for the life of eels. However, um, now I wanna go check out like that one place. Can you, can we get more diagrams of like actual like proximity like that? Or are they like right over here? Are they like separate bedrooms, separate beds, vintage style living situations with their reproduction? And then it's just like, okay, here, I'm just gonna spit out all of my eggs. You're gonna spit out all of your sperm. And we're just gonna hope that they do this, you know? Like what some people try to say happens in hot tubs. It's just not gonna happen. Chlorine will like nuke your sperm. Is that what could happen? It's this toilet seat situation. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so goddamn tired. Anyway, that's gonna be it. That was my uh, super bad, super awkward, uh, scientific deep dive into the reproductive life cycles of eels. Do you have any theories about how eels reproduce? Do you have eels in captivity that you were just like, one day you came out and you're like, what the fuck, why did I get all these eels? And they were just there. Have you um, accidentally had an eel that was just disappeared and it teleported to the Bermuda Triangle? Have you been to the Bermuda Triangle? Let me know, comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast now, Swell Shenanigans, listed down below. Reminder, I have merch, like that super cool mug over there, listed down below. Shout out to my patrons, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to follow me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here, and that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day. Don't forget to check your eels. Goodbye. Don't forget to check your eel. What, what does that mean? What does that even mean? Anyway, I will like fund more research into like tracking eels in the wild. I can do like a $500 budget. I don't know. I just think it would be really funny if like one of my random qualifications just became like me getting like quoted in a scientific journal about the life cycle of eels. I just think it'd be hilarious. Thank you, Ali, Alan, Alexis, Braden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Evan, Feckles, Hopeless, Hollow, Jucker, Ray, Joe, John, M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lamb, Lex, Lisa, Luis, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew, S, Meme, Lord, The Red, Michael, Michael, J, Name, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Prolock, Rob, Robert, Ross, Sam, Skylar, Simon, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Zendry.